I am Trent with Borgo Industries. I'm here to talk to you a little bit about our Tanko Optimizer feature on our Topcon monitors. It's been around since the X30. Here we've got the X40. I'm going to show you how it works. So the Tank Optimizer is designed to allow you to configure the tank to achieve the most acres per fill. The first thing you're going to want to do is go into settings and make you know, implement Apollo Cedar, Cedar, Granular, and just make sure on tank, make sure that you have the tanks turned on or enabled that you're going to use. If you're not planning to use a tank, say tank five, which is the saddle tank, if we weren't going to use that, we would disable it before we run the tank optimizer. So I will disable it here just to show. From there, I click out and I go into my seed, uh, seed controller screen, maximize it in the settings screen, multi-tank calibration, tank optimizer. So then it brings up this menu, this wizard that you just follow through. So this is where we're going to first enter your products. So I'm going to, in this case, we're going to, we're going to say we're seeding wheat. I'm going to enter the 1251 as one product. The true 70 pounds as a rate, multiple meters. So I can assign it to one meter or one tank, or I can assign it to multiple. So in this case, I'm going to give it the option to assign it to multiple meters to give us uh, as many options as possible. Can split the rate. If I split the rate, it's gonna now, if it's in two tanks, it's gonna, it's gonna meter out of those tanks at the same rate so they empty at the same time. If you didn't split the rate, you would have to empty one tank out at full rate and then empty the second tank out. So then you just add another product. We'll add 46. Put our rate in. Again, we'll assign it to multiple meters, split the rate and we'll put our wheat in. Set the rate. We'll do the same for all these multiple meters and split the rate. Then once I'm done with my products and my rates, I advance the wizard and it shows me my limiting tank in red. So that's a, that is the limiting factor. So 190 acres is what I would be able to do on that fill. So if there's different ways to set it up, if I didn't want to assign it to multiple meters, for example, and I knew wheat, I, I only wanted to be in one tank, I would assign that to, we'll just say tank three, and then it doesn't split the rate, and it gives me my option here. If I do that, you can see it drops it all the way down to, to 90 acres. So that's your tank optimizer. From there, I would select OK to accept it. Do you want to apply this tank configuration? Yes. And then you're done with that. The last thing you have to remember to do is go back into that tank setting that I was in and make sure for each tank, I'm assigning that product to the proper airstream. So if tank one is fertilizer, I wanna make sure that's going to my fert boom. Tank three, for example, I had seed. You wanna make sure that's going to the seed. That is because there are different section control times for the seed and the fertilizer and you want to make sure you're assigning it properly from there you would make sure your drop spouts on the tank are actually set into the proper air streams physically adjusting the drop spouts into the proper air stream and you are ready to go